Hey guys, how you doing? Mike Tannik here, and thank you for joining me for Hearts of Iron 4, playing with the Great War mods. We are playing as the Italians, and we are playing on Elite Difficulty. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I played Hearts of Iron 4, and uh, the Great War mod, I believe... Yeah, it was the Great War mod that kind of launched my channel when I played as the Ottomans long, long ago. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's look at our position here as Italy in 1910. Uh, now we do have Sardinia who has okay, so France has Corsica as it would be uh, the Ottomans who are Basically our natural enemies in this uh, they have North Africa and traditional Ottoman lands Which used to be the by like they took basically took over the Byzantine Empire the Eastern Roman Empire uh, In any case, let's go ahead and get Ooh, we have four technology slots. That is good. Most everything military related, uh, we have to wait until 1914, which is, uh, that sucks. It's A lot of this is like three or four years till we can actually research. Marines, Marines would be good to have if we're going to be fighting against the Ottomans. But first things first, industry. Uh, let's go ahead and get the basics done. That's going to increase our production efficiency cap. Carpentry schools, all right. So I'm wondering, like, they just invented the handsaw and the gear, so. Uh, next, vest pocket camera. No, that's not it. Let's go ahead and do construction one. It's 116 days, fine. Ooh, oil production. That could be really good, because we do have a big navy. And that allows us to build a fuel silo, which we're going to need, and also gain oil. So let's go ahead and do that. That's that's a big commitment, 232 days. All right, what about engineering? Uh, this, I kind of neglected this. Uh, we have the radio for reinforced rates. Mechanical computing, that's plus 1% research speed. That's not a lot, but let's go ahead and take it. We'll get our multipliers out of the way here. Okay, next, military factories. Um, well, before I plan out our equipment, let's go ahead and have a look at our divisions. What do we have? Hmm. This is, oops, Inf the Fanteria Division. Okay, six. Ooh, geez, that's not very good. We got six infantry. They have engineer, recon, and artillery support. All right, we'll probably keep them. Uh, Brissaglieri Division. Oh, wow, check these guys out. They have one of everything, basically. They got logistics, field hospital, support artillery. Wow, okay, so we're keeping them. Uh, colonial troops. Okay, four infantry, engineer, and recon. Yeah, that's probably garbage. Alpine, okay, mountain divisions. Yeah, they could use some work. They're eight combat width. I, I could get them up to ten. Before I did anything with them, yeah, what would that do? That would put our combat width up to 10. That would be ideal, because I don't think we're going to be able to get them up to uh, 20 width for a while. Cavalry, oh boy. I'm sure I have a cavalry company, so okay. So it looks like we'll be training these guys. Now what do they need? They need motorized, but in this case, uh, motorized is represented by horse-drawn equipment for this mod. Support equipment, 90. Field gun, ooh, yeah, we need a lot for these guys. You know what, I'm gonna keep this division template, but for now, uh, how much army experience do we have? We have 15, that should be enough to get this up to a 20 width. And at, later on when we do get equipment under control, uh, I might upgrade these to the uh, Bersaglieri divisions, but First things first, uh, well, here, I wish I could get all these guys down here. I I hate that. All right, that's seven infantry. Let's get artillery here as well. And I'll do it for both of these regiments here. All right, that puts our combat width up to 20. Uh, that's going to be our standard division. And there goes our army experience, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and train. And we will train these guys in Rome. We'll place them in the Eternal City. And let's go ahead and build two divisions at once. 
Our manpower is pretty good. 688,000. That's not bad at all. So I don't think manpower is going to be the problem here. But let's get our production under control. So where does that put us? Yeah, we need a lot of artillery. Uh, we have four free factories. So let's go... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to put two of them into infantry equipment. Uh, support equipment is always a problem in this mod, guys. It takes forever. So yeah, I am going to commit a factory right there. Uh, I don't really want to, but that's okay. All right, next, we do have some free dockyards. Um, we're building two armored cruisers, which are already done, or about to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these to finish. And boy, are we out of... Yeesh. Okay, so we're at minus 23 steel because we are building these. All right. And we have three dockyards remaining. Let's go ahead and have a look at our Navy real quick uh, before I do all this. All right. So we have a fleet of 40 ships. What do we got here? All right. Ooh, we got battleships, heavy cruisers, light cruisers. All right, so that is a good strike group right there. I like that. Uh, we got some more battleships, heavy cruisers, and one light cruiser. Interesting. Four battleships. Uh, good. We can task them probably off to a different fleet that we'll see. Okay, uh, we have a, a group of seven submarines. Interesting. They're coastal submarines, which... I mean, technically it can go all around here. That's actually not bad. I, I like that. But we're not going to build any more coastal submarines. A single light cruiser and another single light cruiser. All right. What's this fleet here? Heavy cruiser and a bunch of destroyers. Okay. That could be good for intercepting things. Oh, and we can upgrade these. Well, hang on. What is this thing made of let's see the design oh okay so we could add one module interesting all right well we might do that what about uh let's have a look at these ships here uh their hull might be upgraded that no that's not it we only have one hull um You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's do this right now. I'm going to add torpedo launchers to these destroyers. So let's go Nimbo class torpedoes. And we'll save that. I uh, don't think we can do... Oh, we can do upgrade. Anti-air 3. How do I go from 1 to 3? I, I Maybe that's a perk that Italy has. Yeah, so let's save that. Wow. This thing is going to cost a bit more, but that is really good anti-air. And what we're going to do... Hey, okay, let's close that out. All of these destroyers that can be upgraded will be upgraded. Yeah, so let's get all these. And refit ships. And do the Nembo class destroyers. And yes, that is going to take a while. That is okay. Uh, let's make sure that we do have a uh, ship set. Oops. For repairs and upgrades and such. We'll dedicate... We have 13 dockyards. I'll leave it at 8. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, we are going to finish these boats. And then we will do the upgrades here. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's just going to take a while, but all right, I am happy with that. Uh, let's look at the rest of our fleet. Uh, okay, we have Destroyer 1, Soldati class. Good. We have a group of light cruisers. We, You know, we could combine those two, actually. And heavy battles. Uh, yeah, pre-Dreadnought 1. Okay, so these aren't even Dreadnoughts yet, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to put all these into this fleet here. 
And as a matter of fact, let's put them all into this fleet. Because four battleships sailing around by themselves are extremely vulnerable if they don't have support ships. So let's not do that. Uh, we do need some civilian factories. So let's go ahead and build that now. Uh, how many factories do we have? 19 total. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll build two in Latium since that is our highest... Yeah, that is our highest uh, infrastructure. Excellent! Okay, modified government. We have 151 political power. What are we at now? Partial mobilization? I like that. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to touch that. Limited exports. We should probably keep that. I do not want to change any of that. Limited conscription. Okay, well, it's grayed out, but we must have uh, some sort of perk or deal that allows us to do that. So, let's go ahead and see what we can get for a theorist. We can do military theorist. He gives us army experience. And you, he gives us naval experience. Okay, that's maybe. Industrial concern. Industrial research speed, plus 10%. Yes, please. That, we're doing a lot of industrial research right now. Uh, national focus. Okay, so what I'm going to do, there are a couple options that I would like to see done. Uh, I would like to come down this way. We'll get Italian development. That's going to give us two civilian factories. And we'll do Italian highways, which is going to up the infrastructure across the board. And then, of course, we're going to come down over here, uh, do the infrastructure effort, and then construction, armament. These are going to give us our free factories, which will eventually come down here and give us an extra research slot. But there is a lot of political intrigue for us to uh, go through. And, you know, I haven't even touched this down here. Uh, what is this? Abyssinia Crisis? Okay, it has to be after 1921. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing it's down there. There's not much to do. Uh, there is the political focuses. I'm sorry, there are the political focuses. Uh, where we could go hardcore communism or hardcore democracy and kill anyone who doesn't agree both ways. European power, that's political power, plus 150. Uh, support Germany, or secret deal with France. That could be interesting. If we make a secret deal with France, then we obviously probably won't be fighting them. So we'll, uh, let's see. Okay, we could recognize Albania, which revolts against the Ottomans soon. European focus, Italian development. Let's get the factories first and then we'll come over here, get the political power and kind of look at what's going on with, with those. But yeah, first things first, let's get our building under control. Oh, insufficient resources. Minus 27 or 23 steel. We do fortunately have What is this? We do fortunately have a lot of civilian factories. To, well, starting out we do. Um, we could trade away three factories. Let's trade away, well, two. I know that doesn't really solve the problem here, but... Yeah, I don't want to trade away more than three factories. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to have to do for our shipbuilding. Let's see what that did. Did it do anything? Kind of, we're still short. Uh, this is gonna be finished in July and this one will actually be finished this month in a couple days, the Summered Cruiser. Uh, so we can focus on other things. Now let's get our divisions sorted out. What do we got? We got standard infantry division. And Austria-Hungary is kind of moving in on our juice. I do not like that. Okay, perfect. Actually, all these divisions that I selected, that's 24. Um, until we straighten them out, they're going to be in their own army. 
and they're going to train. And what do we got for the rest here? We got, ooh, Fenteria Brigata. That's four infantry regiments. Eesh, we even have Cav. Okay. Okay, there's another 24 divisions. Let's make yet another army and start to train. Actually, I need to do the shift. Yeah, I'll do the shift exercise. That way the units that get experience or are, are experienced stop training. Ah, uh, yes, these two down here. The one big problem with Italy is we are made of ports and that offers a lot of invasion routes, which I'm not a big fan of, but that's, you know, that's Italy. And what we're going to do actually is we're going to make port defense units. That's kind of my thing. Anyone who's seen my uh, playthroughs knows that I'm all about port defense units. What, what are we doing over here? Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Uh, these are, Oh, colonial troops. You know what? We have to change them to infantry division. Uh, yeah. See, that's a huge problem. They need 600 infantry equipment and 192 field guns. But the way they are now, we're just going to get rolled over. And I don't like that. So, yeah, these two will be in their own army as well. And let's go ahead and get from the top down. Let's pick our army group leader. Uh, he has the old guard trait, which reduces his experience gain. I don't like that. Max entrenchment plus one, though. And this war is all about entrenchment, and I can get a different trait. So, uh, no, he's only level two. Let's get level four guy here. Oh yeah, his traits are kind of are kind of dumb. All right, organization first. That is reinforce rate plus two. And you know what? We do not have the command power actually to uh, to change this yet to give him these traits. We have to have fifteen command power. That's fine. All right, let's get all these guys into the army group. And we'll assign generals later. I'm not too concerned about getting uh, our generals for these guys, so we'll leave it at that. All right, finally, let's go ahead and crank up the speed here. Maybe not that fast. So how much oil do we have? That's what I really want to know. Is... Death of Edward VII. Edward VII's life and namesake era have drawn to a close. Though in a state of grief, the new King George V has received his coronation, time will tell if he can solve the turbulent situation in Britain that he has inherited. George V is the new king. Excellent. Okay, so we have our entire army training, but what's our oil situation? We're only gaining 96 per day. Let's look at our resources. Do we own any oil? We do not. We own none oil so here's the problem do we even have any planes we do not have planes so we don't have to worry about training aircraft but we do have to worry about training a lot of really heavy ships hmm All right, everyone, everyone exercise. Actually, no, that's that's a terrible idea. All of these can and sh probably should be upgraded, but we're not gonna do that. Yeah, let's stop exercising them. We'll, we're gonna have to do the small fleets first. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Albanian Revolt. The Albanians refused to submit to the Turks. A new Albanian uprisings, or uprising began in Kosovo and the Northern Mountains. Ottoman government declared martial law and sent a military expedition. 
Did you now? This is this could be my time to shine. So here's the problem: is uh, the Albanian revolt happens, but there is no Albania. It doesn't like pop up as a faction, and I know that from playing the Ottomans. Okay. So I can actually upgrade this to the San Giorgio class. What is different about it? Uh, let's see. Secondary battery. Ooh, we can upgrade to secondary battery too. Hang on. And this is a medium battery. Heavy cruiser battery one. Yep. All right, let's upgrade all everything that we possibly can. Fire control. Uh, we do not have any radar yet. Engine. Cruiser engine. Nope. But we could add some more modules to this. But I'm going to... Or am I? Let's do some more anti-air. Actually, no. We don't need that. We need torpedo launchers. What am I saying? Alright. Marco Polo Class 5. Marco Polo Class 5. Upgrade it. 1910. There we go. Let's go ahead and save that because we do have the naval experience. And let's upgrade. Uh, yep. There we go. Cost 516 production. Ouch. That's okay. Uh, let's put you guys on automatic split off. That way the whole fleet doesn't go to ports when one poor little ship gets, uh... Eek. When one poor little ship uh, gets damaged. Okay, heavy cruiser. We'll train you as well and actually... No, let's upgrade you. Okay, so it is way past May 9th, so that first cruiser should be done. Yeah, okay. There we go. And oh yeah, this is the one that I just produced. So it is going to refit and how is our naval production? Ooh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I could upgrade this, but look, it's already pretty much done. It's going to be done in one week. So, let's go ahead and have a peek around here and see who's doing what. Uh Germany and F or the French here do not really seem to care much that you know right on the border which is good um, I just wish I could see where's uh, do I have any of the uh, divisions the Bersaglieri uh, because they have recon so let's go ahead and give them a different icon we'll give them the skull Okay, so, uh, let's see, does anyone have, do we have a single Bersaglieri division? No, I guess not. Nope, not a single one. That is awesome. Oh, boy. Okay, decisions. I have not done any of these decisions yet. Improve worker conditions? Puh. No. I'm already playing on Elite, so everything is going to be slower and just generally worse. So, we have to figure out, guys. This is the problem. We have to side with either Austria-Hungary over here before they roll us over, or we have to side with the Allies. Okay, Italian development is done. That gives us two more civilian factories. Uh, Italian highways. We could do that, but I want to start over here with the industrial effort. That's plus 15% research bonus for industry. Oh, we already have that. Okay, so. Duh, what am I saying? 
infrastructure effort. That's going to give us two more infrastructure and open up uh, these focuses down here, which uh, really do help out over time. But let's go ahead and start this one. That's the key to getting in. All right, how about our Intel agency? Yeah, oh, uh, well, <laughs> we can't do anything yet. I mean, we could create it. Guys, I need a good name for an Italian spy agency. Let's see, what do we want here? <gasps> the Eagle. It's like, it's like Roman. Okay, that's going to take five days. I'm okay with that. Free dockyards. Oh, right. Okay, so all those ships are upgraded. Where did these ships come from? I do not... Do I want them? I do. Okay, so what I would like to do... Do we have... What kind of submarines do we have? Submarine 1. Coastal submarine. No, 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 no. It's not what I meant. What's the range on this thing? Uh, do, 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 do. 350 kilometers. That's nothing. So that's why they're coastal. No. What about regular submarine? 500 kilometers. Okay. Ooh, you know what we could do? Let's go ahead. Mine warfare. We could build some mining ships, but let's build torpedo boats first. There we go. All right, so it'll be submarine one. Torpedo. Nope. There we go. <clears throat> Beautiful, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and build that. And who else in the Navy needs to be upgraded? Speaking of which, Okay, so how are we looking? Uh, a little bit better. The, my big concern right now is getting our troops armed. Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty, the Korean Empire, a Japanese puppet state since the assassination of Queen Min in 1895, has just signed a treaty with the Japanese government that resulted in full annexation. Though the Russian Empire and the United States are complaining about this measure, no official actions have been taken against Japan just yet. Wow. It seems that Korea's long legacy will go out with nothing more than a whimper. Okay, so they just said we want Korea and we're taking it? Yep, they sure did. Look at what they did. That's dirty. Okay. Uh, carpentry schools. Perfect. And this is all 1910 tech, which is good. So what do I want? Heavy industry one. We are gonna go with heavy industry. Uh, metallurgy. Max output in a state, max factories. Okay, we're gonna go with heavy industry one. Is what we're gonna do. So Japan probably senses some weakness because I know, well, at least around this time, there should be a great civil war in China or a war that tears them apart. So we're going to see. Ah, yes. Okay. We just finished our armored cruiser here. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. There's no reason not to. Alright, refitting. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, diplomacy. Yep, most everyone dislikes us. I guess we're cool with Australia. That's all that matters. All right, and we are about to run out of oil. All right, construction one finished. Beautiful. Underground mining resource gain efficiency plus five percent. 
That would be really useful. So in metallurgy schools. However, we've... Yeah, you can't get 1914 stuff just yet. Or armored cars. Ooh, artillery. Yes. Yes, please. There we go. Perfect. Alright, how are we looking over here? Alright, you are upgrading. You are upgraded. And training. Okay. I don't see how... Well... Yeah, I guess all of these are gas hogs too. All the destroyers. And the heavy cruiser too. So, yeah, it, you know, it's... We'll see. We'll see how that works. Um... So how about my interests down here? These guys take priority. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's go ahead and change them. Calling all the troops. Ooh, yip -dee. Yeah, you guys need some help. <laughs> they definitely need some love. All right, that's done. Wait, what was that? Okay. There is our spy agency, guys. Give me a name. Give me any name for the spy agency, and uh, I will pick the best one. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is a huge pleasure to be able to get back to Hearts of Iron 4. It does my heart some good. This is where the channel started, and uh, I stayed away too long. So I will see you guys next time. Mike Tannock out.